My earliest memory of cricket uh, was actually in my front yard. I didn't have a backyard, so I was in the front yard. Um, didn't have enough room for a pitch, but I had a brick wall. Um, so rather than being able to run in and bowl a ball, I was able to throw a tennis ball against the brick wall and catch it, which, was, which is, I think, where I got the, uh, the wicket-keeping uh, bug from. And uh, one afternoon, I was in the middle of a test match, a uh, backyard test match, just took a speccy and... Uh, and uh, a car came up the road, um, as was the uh, the house rules when the car came up the road, had to stop play. Uh, and as I looked into the car, uh, the window came down on the front seat. Alan Border, the uh, test captain at the time, gave me the thumbs up. So uh, not only did I get the wicket-keeping bug, but I got the cricket bug very quickly after that. My first junior club was the uh, Kenmore Junior Cricket Club, the Kenmore Kangaroos under 10 team. Uh, from there I moved to the University of Queensland Cricket Club, that's where I started my uh, senior grade career. Um, had a stint for a few years over, over at North, and I'm, I'm back at UQ Cricket Club now and obviously through that period of time I've also been a member with the Queensland Bulls. Yes, yeah, so I've followed the, uh, the basic pathway. Cricket Australia have in place for, for cricketers from a, a junior uh, representative side through to the seniors. That involved Queensland under-17s, Queensland under-19s, and the respective Australian under-17 and under-19 sides. I stint at the Cricket Academy uh, and then into the state squads. I made my first grade debut for the University of Queensland Cricket Club as a 15-year-old. I uh, came into the side um, as a late replacement for Wade Seckham. Um, batted 11, made one not out. Um, kept It was a one-day game, so I kept for 50 overs, took one catch. Um, and I, even though I only batted for a short amount of time, I copped an awful lot of sledging from, uh, from a very um, fiery Toomble side. So I certainly remembered my first day in first grade cricket. There wasn't too many uh, too many state players back then, but there was a few uh, guys that were that were renowned for being hard nuts in uh, Queensland grade cricket. Um, I remember a couple of them, um, but uh, I, I tried to forget what they were telling me. Probably the two uh, biggest mentors I've had from a cricketing perspective, um, both wicket keepers. First one was Rod Marsh. Uh, he was my coach at the Cricket Academy, and I, I learned a lot about the art of wicket keeping and, and probably um, the requirement for a, a good work ethic. Uh, and the other one was Wade Seckham, who um, was the wicket keeper when I first came into the state squad with the Queensland Bulls. Um, a fantastic first class cricketer and, and a great person to learn the trade of wicket keeping off and learn about how to play first class cricket. My number one goal is still to play test cricket for Australia. Peter Neville stepped in at the Ashes and has done a, and has done a good job so far. But I think that that opportunity, um, that window of opportunity is still open in the next couple of years. So I'll certainly be pushing my course for that. Uh, in the meantime, you know, excellent performances for Queensland cricket. And uh, I'd love to win another couple of titles with the Bulls, whether it's a Sheffield Shield or Matador Cup. Yeah, the Queensland Leaders Program is, a, is an initiative that... Um, helps um, you know potential uh, business owners and, and, and people looking to transition into that industry to, uh, to basically learn about business, learn about commerce, um, build up their networking skills um, and learn from I guess um, some of the more uh, well-known and, and um, highly achieving um, businesses that already exist in, in uh, industry across both Queensland, the state and, and Australia. So it's a great chance to learn from, from people who have already been doing it for years and years, um, tap into their knowledge but also to start networking. So um, as you transition into a, a career post-cricket, um, whatever industry it might be, but certainly in that business world, uh, it's a great chance to, uh, to start learning from the best. Yeah, the ACA helped to fund that initiative, so it was part of the training and education program, um, which I've used over a number of years, whether it was at university, in this case with the Queensland Leaders Program, and it's fantastic to be able to receive that sort of support um, off the field from uh, the ACA as well as the, uh, to, to support what you're doing on the field. Million dollar question uh, to try and work out what to do after cricket, but um, I've certainly got an interest in, in uh, business from a you know a marketing and strategy and branding branding perspective. So um, perhaps um, you know a pathway down there. But I've also done a little bit of work in the communications area. So um, it might be that I try and meld those two together. But um, you know that's part of why I'm I'm working through the Queensland Leaders Program is to to learn about the experiences of others and see what uh, takes a fancy.